Hi everyone, back at the allotment, uh, another day, a uh, pretty warm day actually, uh, it's been uh, uh, very very hot, it's 27, 28 degrees, something like that, uh, so for that I've decided to pick uh, something on the, the sort of lighter uh, and more vibrant side, so today I'm going to be talking about the Galston's 12 year old finishing sherry casks, uh, so which really fits that bill, but uh, before I get on uh, to that, uh, I've been uh, doing, you know, really, as I say, very hot work. Uh, just a lot of watering. The ground's rock hard here, and there's really not been much rain over the last few weeks. So, you know, particularly the seedlings, which don't quite have the roots yet, uh, are really, are really struggling. The more established things are, are sort of okay, but uh, given everything a good water anyway. Uh, I've also uh, picked. Uh, couple of things again so uh, today I've got uh, what's called green garlic so this is um, this is your normal garlic which would normally be picked or pulled up in probably six to eight weeks time uh, when it all dries off and uh, and goes goes yellow and uh, but I saw quite recently somebody talking about green garlic so you basically pick it a little bit early and you use it almost like uh, spring onion or or just, n just normal garlic, you use the stem and, uh, and everything. So uh, decided to try and do that. So picked two or three of those. Also picked uh, another handful of handful of this, which you know, someone very kindly pointed out to me uh, the other day wasn't spinach. Uh, it's actually chard. So I do apologise for that. But uh, of course, really, I'm here talking to you about the, the whiskey, and uh, in this case, the, the Gelston's 12-year-old finished in sherry cast. So there's a couple of others uh, released by Gelston's at th that sort of age in different cast finish as well. But uh, Gelston's is a triple distilled Irish single malt. Uh, it started, this particular one started its life in first fill ex-bourbon casks and has been finished for periods uh, in uh, ex-sherry casks. And it's a brand that's really been revived, come back to life. It's uh, originally founded in 1830 by a gentleman called Samuel Gelston, and he was a wine and spirit merchant in, in Belfast, uh, Northern Ireland. And uh, much like uh, you know some of the very famous uh, Scottish uh, names that you see, uh, he, it started as a, as a grocery shop and he was buying, selling his own whiskies from local distilleries. So um, upon his death, uh, it was sold to a, a gentleman called Harry J. Neal. And uh, he really expanded the brand and, and sort of, sort of took, took it on. And it uh, became very popular, very well known actually. And uh, like most American whiskies, you know, uh, uh, sorry, most uh, Irish whiskies, uh, it was hit uh, with a massive slump in sales in uh, due to the prohibition period which is 1920 to 1933 in America and just uh, you know died off uh, as a lot of Irish brands did but it's now been revived by uh, a gentleman called Johnny Neal who is a fifth generation descendant of, of Harry J Neal so a sort of great 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 grandson I think that I think that's right uh, so, yeah, it's been been revived, and uh, yeah, thought give it a try. Got a bottle, so uh, yeah, it just you know, seems to fit this this day uh, weather perfectly. You see, it's quite light and, and sort of uh, vibrant in its colour, and very fresh on the nose. Actually, You've got quite a lot of sort of green apple. There's a bit of a peach or apricot, something like that, in there as well quite a lot of honey, honey and vanilla. So let's have a little taste. Wow, that's deliciously fresh. Really zingy, almost a little bit zesty, like a sort of lemon zest, maybe a bit of lime, something like that. But then this sort of honey, v vanilla, no, it's almost a little bit of golden syrup and then a little bit of dried fruit like sultana or something like that and then this um, sort of peachy apricot almost like a apricot jam coming through absolutely um, sort of 
lovely. He said, really, they can kind of taste. Yeah, that could, uh, on a day like today, really, a couple of ice cubes in a big tumbler, that would be absolutely fabulous. I mean, as good as it is, but uh, absolutely fabulous. So, uh, that's it uh, for me uh, today. I'll be back in another couple of days as I you know, need to keep watering during this uh, hot spell. So, um, until then, keep safe everyone, and I'll speak to you then. Cheers, bye-bye.